Hello guys and welcome to Louis Marco's Natural Bodybuilding and Fitness Daily, wherever you are, I salute you. Question from Bruce Lee, that's right, Bruce Lee Fitness is asking us about abs, even though Bruce Lee, as you guys know, has one of the best midsection ever. Alright, Louis, do a video about abdominals training and body weight exercises. Thumbed up, please. Alrighty, so he's asking me if uh, the way to train uh, the six packer down there requires only body weight or do I basically um, advise you guys to use uh, weights meaning adush, uh, ad additional weight on top of your body weight to get them eight packers like so already well personally as you guys are following me um, I do uh, use weights for my uh, for my abs there's absolutely no doubt about it uh, body weight uh, exercises in my opinion after a certain point are not enough of course they're okay but if you want to um, have some strong abs really solid midsection i definitely recommend adding um, some weights to your own body uh, hence i can do uh, like hundreds of crunches if i don't use uh, my body weight if i, if I don't use uh, i mean ad additional weights uh, the fact of the matter is um, back in the day, I used to do them just with my body weight, but after a while, I noticed uh, that it just was not enough. My body was able to reach that 25 rep range quite easily, and then 35, and then 45, which didn't make sense. So right now, what I do pretty much is I warm up with my body weight, no matter. I mean, if I do crunches or leg raises, as a matter of fact, for the abs, all I do is uh, crunches and also um, uh, leg raises. For the obliques, what I use is um, body sways, meaning I grab a, uh, a dumbbell with one hand and I sway my torso in, in this fashion. And even with that, the weight is, is rather heavy. A lot of people will say, hey, listen, uh, if you use weight, your midsection will get thicker and bigger and whatnot. No, give me a break. I mean, it doesn't happen to us. I mean, a lot of people confuse that with the chemical bodybuilders. These guys, as I said, they do whatever and they will get bigger pretty much everywhere. They might as well just chew gum and their jaw will, will grow. And you guys know what I'm talking about. Same goes with their obliques. They will grow in an unnatural fashion. I work my obliques with a 60 or a 65 dumbbell and I go on for like 30 reps. Do I have like a big waist? No. So th there you have it. Uh, plus, uh, their big gut has nothing to do with their uh, abs training. It has, again, to do with some chemical injections these guys take. And that's why they would have that big gut, what we call the roids gut, which is, by the way, not mainly due to steroids, but it is due to growth hormone. That's a totally different subject. So, yes, uh, what I do recommend is definitely use body, uh, some, uh, uh, some weights added to your body weight. However, do not go crazy. Do not do a uh, small repetition range for the abs because it is a totally different muscle. It is a slow twitch fiber, which you guys can work out pretty much quite often during the week. Personally, I work it three times a week. You can go up to, up, up to four, but don't get me wrong. It can get overtrained as well. If you work up your abs every day, I don't think is the way to go. I want you to give it at least 48 hours rest. Again, it is a slow twitch fiber. So it, uh, the rest time is shorter than the regular muscle. It's not like your biceps or triceps or chest. But then again, it will need to rest and to get rebuilt. Uh, the rep range. What I do recommend myself is to be able to go always over 20. Over 20 is the way to go for the crunches. For the uh, leg raises, sometimes I might stop at 15, right? So uh, for the leg raises, is a little bit shorter. But then again, never less than 15. I'm going to try to attach a video where you guys will see me uh, doing abs uh, on a machine. And you guys will see me pushing the maximum weight available on that machine, which was quite heavy, trust me. Uh, not to be uh, bragging, but in that gym when I was doing that uh, exercise, I probably never saw anybody else lifting the same weight. Of course, I was not able to reach that, that power like that, but it came after time. And it reminds me of something in that gym that was a big dude. He, he was not natural. He was definitely over 230 
And one day at the end of my session, he asked me if he, he can train the abs with me. And he was looking to brag. And by God, guys, he was not able to keep up. I mean, he stopped at, at like 70% 70, 70 of the weight I was able to lift. So yes, the abs can be really, really strong and you can develop strength by lifting some serious weight. And finally, I'm gonna also attach another video right here uh, with me doing some leg raises. I think you know, I was lifting uh, a 30 pounder. And again, this one is not to be messed up with nobody. It will came with time, of course, if you have a low back situation, if you have a low back injury, I don't recommend messing around with weights when doing leg raises, right? It will definitely uh, hinder your back health if you're not strong down there in the back. As a matter of fact, even uh, while doing some crunches, if you have a bad back situation, it might also be a problem for you. So that's it, guys. That was my take on uh, the abs workout, weights versus non-weights. So Louis Marco definitely recommends lifting some weights to have those six-packers. Thank you, guys, and have a nice one.